Hello, this video is about cobalt toxicity. The name cobalt came from German word cobalt meaning goblin. The miners thought of this cobalt as um, worthless and poisonous. Therefore, the metal was named as such. Cobalt is used in various alloys for its corrosion and wear resistance properties. It is also used in cemented carbides. Cobalt is essential as metal cofactor in vitamin B12. However, excess exposure leads to several adverse health effects. Amount of absorption into body depends on type of material. As cobalt oxide, it is absorbed at less than 5% of dose, whereas, as, whereas cobalt chloride is absorbed up to 30% via oral dose in rodents. In humans, depending on the type of the material, 5 to 40 percent of oral dose was found to be absorbed. One thing we need to remember here is increased ingestion of cobalt result in Increased ingestion of cobalt result in proportional decrease in absorption because of various factors. However, compared to oral, however, compared to oral road, inhalation of cobalt is found to be more effective in terms of absorption. 80% of 80% of absorbed cobalt is excreted via urine whereas 15% of cobalt is via feces cobalt is an essential metal that means it is required for normal functioning of the body cobalt containing tetrapyrrole ring is critical component of vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is required for RBC production and also to prevent pernicious anemia. Okay, so pernicious anemia is a decrease in red blood cells when body can't absorb an above when body can't absorb enough of vitamin B12. In sheep and cattle, insufficient amount of cobalt in diet leads to cobalt deficiency syndrome or cobalt deficiency disease, okay, which is characterized by anemia, anemia, weight loss and growth retardation let's look at a little deeper into toxicity of cobalt the cobalt toxicity depends on chemical form under environmental or occupational setting cobalt exposure mainly happens via cobalt metal particles whereas in medical under medical settings cobalt exposure happens via metal on metal implants cobalt ion release from various cobalt containing 
products. Let's see what inhalation of cobalt dust can cause. Under lower concentrations, under lower concentrations, that is from 0 0.00 to 0 0.01 mg per meter cube, where cobalt is present up to this concentration in dust, this may just lead to respiratory irritation. However, the higher concentration leads to heart metal pneumoconiosis. which is nothing but a progressive form of pulmonary interstitial fibrosis okay that means it, it, it damages lungs however so far this heart metal pneumoconiosis was not observed by a cobalt exposure alone but this was observed in workers exposure to cobalt tungsten carbide When cobalt was given as intravenous injection, increased blood pressure, decreased respiration, or slowing of respiration, tinnitus, and deafness was observed due to nerve damage caused by cobalt. In case you are not familiar with what tinnitus is tinnitus means it is ringing or buzzing noise in one or both ears that may be constant or common or often associated with hearing loss at higher doses that is at concentrations greater than 10 milligram per kg of body weight cobalt exposure results in severe cardiomyopathies Particularly in one case, excessive consumption of beer containing cobalt as foaming agent resulted in severe cardiomyopathy. However, cobalt cardiomyopathy seemed to require other cofactors such as low protein diet. Thiamine deficiency, alcoholism, and hypothyroidism. All these factors they themselves could cause cardiomyopathies. However, when it, this, these are associated or these happen um, along with the cobalt exposure that may lead to severe cardiomyopathy or which is also termed as cobalt cardiomyopathy autopsy reports reveal that uh, cobalt cardiomyopathy was associated with tenfold increase in cobalt levels in heart muscles or cardiac muscles cobalt that is that cobalt that leaches from uh, metal processes or cobalt containing nanoparticle wear products was, was also found to cause cobalt cardiomyopathy. Chronic cobalt exposure targets mitochondrial enzymes in complex 2 and 3. some effects on minimum lowering of ATPs and mitochondrial respiration and cobalt was also found to decrease mitochondrial manganese superoxide dismutase 
which leads to oxidative myocardial damage. Cobalt exposure also causes cardiac hypertrophy and cardiac remodeling. It does so by stabilizing HIF1, HIF1 alpha, which increases endothelial expression, which leads to cardiac hypertrophy and remodeling. US and TP classified cobalt sulfate as reasonably anticipated to be carcinogenic in humans. In rats and mice, inhalation of cobalt sulfate resulted in lung tumors and carcinomas. Cobalt sulfate was also associated with adrenal gland tumors in female rats. Repository injection or implantation of cobalt compounds resulted in local sarcomas. The clear mechanism of action of cobalt carcinogenicity was not elucidated. However, cobalt was thought to replace essential metal ions thus affecting thus affecting critical cellular functions uh, leading to inhibition of DNA repair and formation of reactive oxygen species DNA repair inhibition and increased reactive oxygen. Let's talk a little about cobalt tungsten carbides. Cobalt tungsten carbides as powders or hot metals. Powders and hot metals were reasonably anticipated to be human carcinogens. This is based on limited human evidence and this is based on limited human evidence and cancer mechanism studies in animals. The mechanism of action of cobalt tungsten carbide includes the release of cobalt ions which increases reactive oxygen species leading to oxidative stress which in turn causes cytotoxicity, genotoxicity, inflammation and apoptosis. Thank you for watching.